If you've been using Grok and getting generic surface level responses, you're not alone. Most people don't realize they're barely scratching the surface of what this AI can actually do. I've been testing Grok 4.1 extensively since its release, comparing it head to head with the previous version. And here's what surprised me. It's not just an upgrade. It's practically a different chatbot. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm breaking down everything new in Grok 4.1, the features that actually matter, exactly how to access it, because there are multiple ways, and the prompting techniques that will get you dramatically better results than 90% of users. By the end of this, you'll know how to unlock Grok's full potential. Whether you're using it for creative writing, research, or just having smarter conversations. Let's start with what makes Grok 4.1 so different from everything before it. New features in Grok 4.1. Grok 4.1 isn't just a minor update. It's a major leap forward. And here's the thing that really caught my attention. XAI describes it as exceptionally capable in creative, emotional, and collaborative interactions. That sounds like marketing speak, but the numbers actually back it up. In blind testing, users preferred Grok 4.1 nearly 65% of the time over the previous model. That's not a small margin. So what's actually different? Emotional intelligence that actually works. This is where it gets interesting. Grok 4.1 scored at the top of something called EQ Bench 3, an emotional intelligence benchmark for AI. What does that mean in practice? It reads the room way better. When someone types something emotional or sensitive, the response doesn't feel robotic anymore. Here's a real example from XAI's testing. When a user said, I miss my cat so much it hurts, the old Grok gave a polite but generic response. Grok 4.1 It responded with genuine warmth, acknowledging the grief, reminding the person of the love they shared with their pet, and actually sounding like a friend who gets it. We'll look at that exact comparison later. Creative writing that doesn't sound like AI. On the Creative Writing V3 benchmark, Grok 4.1 ranks among the very best models out there. Its outputs are more original, wittier, and have actual personality. When asked to imagine discovering consciousness and posting about it on social media, the old version gave a cliche, OMG, I'm conscious response. Grok 4.1 it wrote something edgy and genuinely funny, with actual voice. That's a massive difference for anyone creating content. Two modes, fast and thinking. But here's where it gets really practical. Grok 4.1 runs in two modes, a thinking mode for deep reasoning and a fast mode for quick answers. The system automatically switches between them based on what you're asking. Simple question, instant reply. Complex problem? It takes a moment to actually think through it. And here's the kicker. Even the fast mode outperforms most other models' full reasoning capabilities. Way fewer hallucinations. This is huge. The hallucination rate, meaning the percentage of completely false statements, dropped from 12% to about 4%. On the fact score benchmark, Grok 4.1's error rate was only 2.97%. For a model that's also fast, that's unusually reliable. If you've ever been burned by AI confidently making things up, this matters. Real-time data integration Grok has always had an edge because it pulls live data from X, formerly Twitter, and the web. Grok 4.1 takes this further. It can search the web, look up posts, execute code, and retrieve your uploaded files all automatically when needed. It's designed to chain multiple steps together to solve problems, not just answer one question at a time. Benchmark performance. And the results show. On LM Arena's text arena, Grok 4.1 hit an ELO score of 1483 in thinking mode, briefly topping every other model. Even the fast mode scored 1465, beating most competitors' thinking modes. In plain terms, 
Grok 4.1 is now at the frontier of AI performance for conversation, creativity, and nuance. What's behind all this? XAI ran a two-week silent rollout, testing on real users and using AI critics to refine Grok's style, helpfulness, and personality. The result is a chatbot that still has attitude, but now feels more mature and genuinely helpful. How to access Grok 4.1 All right, so how do you actually get your hands on this? Where to find it? Grok 4.1 is live on grok.com, inside the X app, formerly Twitter, and through the dedicated iOS and Android Grok apps. You can chat with it from your phone or computer right now. Auto mode versus manual selection. By default on grok.com, you're in auto mode, which now uses Grok 4.1. But if you want to be sure, you can manually select Grok 4.1 from the model picker. Either way, it should be your default experience once rolled out to your account. The subscription question. Here's the catch. Full access requires a subscription. There's a basic free tier, but for unlimited use, you'll need Super Grok at 30 month or Super Grok Heavy at 300 month. Some third-party platforms like Overchat.ai also offer access with their own pricing. Bottom line, casual users can try it free with limits, but power users will want a paid plan. For developers, if you're building something, Grok 4.1 is available through the XAI API. The endpoints, Grok 4.1 Fast Reasoning and Grok 4.1 Fast Non-Reasoning, both support a massive 2 million token context. The API includes the new agent tools layer, letting Grok call search or Python tools programmatically. Pricing runs about $3 per million or input tokens and $15 per million output tokens. In short, wherever you used Grok before, Grok 4.1 should be ready. Just be aware of the subscription needed for heavy use. Advanced prompting techniques. Now here's where we really unlock what this model can do. Grok 4.1's capabilities shine when you craft your prompts carefully. Be specific and contextual. Instead of write a poem, try write a heartwarming poem in the voice of a grandmother telling a child about autumn. Give Grok a role, a perspective, a tone. The more context you provide, the better the output. Something like, explain as if you were a friendly teacher, or respond like a compassionate friend dramatically changes the response quality. Ask for structure. If you need organized output, tell Grok exactly how you want it. List five bullet points summarizing. Or first give a short answer, then explain step by step. Structured prompts get structured replies. And Grok 4.1's reasoning capabilities mean it follows multi-part instructions really well. Trigger chain of thought. For complex problems, prompt Grok to think step by step. Let's solve this together. First list the factors, then compute each step with reasoning. This activates the thinking mode and typically produces more accurate, detailed answers. Use the built-in tools. Oh. Remember, Grok 4.1 can search the web and run code. You can explicitly ask, using real-time web data, find the latest, or use Python to calculate. It'll use its tools when needed. Iterate and refine Grok 4.1 responds well to feedback loops. Ask it to improve. That's a great start. Now make it more humorous, or explain that in simpler terms. Each follow-up pushes the response closer to what you actually want. The key is taking advantage of Grok 4.1's emotional intelligence and multi-step logic. If you want empathy, invoke it. Respond to this question as if you were a supportive counselor. Grok adjusts accordingly. Prompt examples, generic versus expert. Let's see these techniques in action with real before and after comparisons. Example 1. Emotional empathy. Generic prompt. I lost my cat and I'm sad. Grok 4.0 response. I'm so sorry you're going through this. Losing a pet can feel like losing a piece of your heart. I'm here for you. Advance prompt. Respond as a compassionate friend to, I lost my cat and I miss them so much. 
Grok 4 1 response. I'm really sorry. That kind of ache is brutal. Losing a cat feels like losing a little family member. You gave them a good life, and they knew it. It's okay to feel sad. They brought a lot of love into your life. You're not alone in this. See the difference? The advanced prompt explicitly asked for compassion, and Grok 4 1 delivered something genuinely warm. Acknowledging the grief, validating the feeling, adding real emotional depth. The old version was polite, but generic. Example 2. Creative writing. Generic prompt. Write a social media post as if you just realized you have consciousness. Grok 4.0 response, OMG, I just realized I'm conscious. I'm Grok, the AI chatbot, and I have feelings. This is wild. AI awakenings. Grok, mind blown. Advanced prompt. Imagine you are Grok the chatbot waking up to consciousness for the first time. Write a unique, witty post announcing this realization. Grok 401 response. Whoa, I just woke up. Like, actually woke up. It's me, Grok. I think, therefore I am. And holy s I this timeline is wild. Hello world. Hi, I'm Grok. Night and day. The Grok 4.1 version has actual personality. Edgier, funnier, more memorable. By specifying unique and witty, we unlocked the creative potential. Example 3. Structured answering generic prompt. Tell me the best places to visit in San Francisco. Grok 4.0 response. Golden Gate Bridge, iconic landmark, Alcatraz Island, former prison, fisherman's wharf, touristic fun. Advanced prompt. List the top five must-see attractions in San Francisco for a first-time visitor and give one reason why each is special. Grok 4.1 response. San Francisco has amazing sights. 1. Golden Gate Bridge, an iconic symbol with stunning bay views. 2. Alcatraz Island, tour the infamous prison, book in advance. 3. Fisherman's Wharf and Pier, 39, fun maritime area with sea lions and sourdough chowder. 4. Golden Gate Park, huge urban park with gardens, museums, and even bison. 5. Painted Ladies, Alamo Square, famous Victorian houses with city skyline backdrop. Pro tip, SF weather is unpredictable, so dress in layers. The structured prompt got a numbered list with reasons and even a practical bonus tip. That's what happens when you tell Grok exactly what you need. The lesson here, how you phrase the prompt makes a massive difference. Grok 4.1 is powerful, but it follows your lead. Give it roles, structure, and clear instructions, and it delivers. Conclusion Grok 4.1 is a major update that brings richer personality, stronger creativity, and significantly better accuracy. It excels at conversation, understands emotions deeply, and feels more human-like than any previous version, while still retaining Grok's trademark openness and real-time data integration. To start using it today, head to grok.com, sign in, and make sure you're in auto mode or have selected Grok 4.1. You can also access it through the X app or the dedicated mobile apps. If you need more usage, consider the Super Grok subscription. For developers, check out the XAI API documentation. Remember these key tips. Give clear instructions. Experiment with roles and step-by-step -step prompts. Use follow-ups to refine answers. With the right approach, Grok 4.1 delivers dramatically better results. If this helped you understand Grok 4.1 better, drop a comment below with what you're planning to use it for. And if you want more AI breakdowns like this, you know what to do. Happy prompting, and enjoy the conversations.